From Crunch Econometrics, I welcome you to the part one of our co-integration test series in Stata. After performing a unit two test, you are likely to have three outcomes. The first outcome could be that the series are integrated of order zero, meaning they do not require you to difference them before they become stationary. Another scenario could be that they are integrated of order one, that is, you have to difference them for them to become stationary variables. And the third outcome is that after performing the unit two test, you have a combination of IO and I O one series. But in this tutorial, I will only concentrate on the first outcome, which is what will you do when you have such series that are all integrated of order zero, that is, you have levels, stationary variables. In this situation, there is no need to perform a cointegration test. It is absolutely not necessary, simply because any shock to the system in the short run quickly adjusts to the long run equilibrium. In other words, the variables do not exhibit any short run interactions, so there is no need for you to estimate a short run model only estimate the long run model using the ordinary least squares estimation technique. And when you are specifying your variables in the equation, they should not be lagged and they should not be in their first difference form. This must be the static form of the model and an example is what is shown on the screen. So in essence, when your variables are stationary at um, levels, do not estimate any short run model it is not necessary. Do not perform a co-integration test. Only specify the static form of the model, which is a long run specification, and estimate it using OLS. So in Stata, I will take you through the procedure on what you should do if you have such scenario. Stata is already launched, and I have my do file here. I always use a do file for all my tutorials. It's very easy. It makes some um, estimation or analytics very easy. I don't have to type all the time. So for me to start, I have to tell Stata to set my series to run time series. So using this command, T set quarterly, I click on run. And I have this output from Stata telling me that I have a time variable from 1970 quarter one to 1991 quarter four. If I type browse here, it shows you all the variables I have in my browse editor. I only have three variables I'll be using, GDP, PCE, and PDI. But I'll be using their log form, their log transformation form. So I'll be using this, the log of GDP, the log of PCE, and the log of PDI for this tutorial. So on the assumption that these variables are stationary in levels, only perform the long run model. There is no need to perform a cointegration test. Reason is that any shock to the system quickly adjust to the long run. So what should you do in Stata? Simply run OLS. And this is the command for the OLS. My dependent variable in this case is a log of PCE. GDP is one of the explanatory variables and PDI. So I'm only specifying the functional form, which is a log log form in their static nature. You can see there is no lag and there is no false differences. So this is what you should specify when you have all your variables um, having levels stationary. So I have it all here. I click on run, and this is the output. So the only thing you have to do is just to interpret this in the elasticity form, because it's a log-log form, and that tells you the elasticity relationship between or among the variables. So this is the best you can do when all your series are integrated of order zero. You cannot run a cointegration test. There is no need for it. Only specify the long run model and estimate using the ordinary least squares. Again, I'll wrap up this tutorial by just emphasizing that if, there's, that if you have a series and they're all integrated of the same order, cointegration test is not necessary. Perform only the static form of the model which is specified in this way. You can see the specification listed here. Do not estimate the short run is not necessary. Only the long run model is required and estimate it 
using OLS. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned with us for the second part of this series where I show you what to do if you have series that are I1.